Coates, pointed-nosed animals I once mistook for anteaters. I was in southern Mexico at the time, the lower part of their range, which extends north to the American southwest. That pointed cone-shaped snout is what fooled me. Coates eat berries, lizards, mice, and plants, not so much ants. These coates live at wildlife images near Merlin, Oregon. Their diet helps determine one of wildlife images educational outreach summer camp themes. Coates are one of four animals that teach young campers about the dietary needs of animals at this rehabilitation center and the importance of diet. Campers pass animal enclosures on their way to preparing meals that are healthy for the animals. They're already learning about coates as they approach the tent where they'll learn to be animal chefs. Inside the tent, the campers put on gloves, keeping the human scent away from the animal's food. Everybody got your gloves going on? All right. Campers listen to instructions, learning what they'll be doing in the tent. What are you guys doing? The coates. Do you guys remember who the coates are? The coates are those little oh, guys that we just passed on the way down here. They actually kind of look like, some people think they look like an anteater. They have that big, long nose and a really big, long tail. Um, we are going to make diets for them, and then we have a really special thing that we get to do with them. We get to go into their enclosure while they are in what we call their safety, the area where they sleep, and they're in there right now. And um, because they're in there, they're safe and we're safe. And we get to go into their enclosure and we get to put their diets in their enclosure and kind of hide them in different spots. And then we'll be able to watch them go in, we'll let them out of their safety, and we'll be able to watch them go in and, and hunt for the food like they would in the wild. To mask the scent of humans in the Kawadi enclosure, feathers are sprayed with a scented mist. The campers gather dandelions for the animals. The Kawadi group is excited. They've gathered grapes and other food, and they're ready to feed the Kawadis. All the campers leave the tent and proceed toward the Kawadi enclosure. The Kawadi group enters the enclosure. Their campmates watch while they strategically place the food they've prepared. Yeah. So, all right. With the food packed away, the kids leave the enclosure. Yeah, when everybody's out, we'll open it. Oh, cool. Okay. The Kawadis are released from their safe house into the enclosure where they seek out their breakfast. The children watch excitedly as the Kawadis find the food they so carefully placed in the enclosure. Oh my god, it's oh, it's getting it. They found my great, great. great. They found my blackberries. No, he's finding my food. Is that my food? No. Oh, I see the leaves. I'm going to go there. Nobody has found my food yet. Oh, oh yeah. Well, yeah. Bubble pizza. Okay. Mm. Yeah. It's not a great. Oh. Get a piece of meat. Get it. He has never found that yet. They will soon. They're not even eating the apples. It is, but not right now. Yeah. Yeah. It's not turned on, but it is on. You know already. <laughs> Kawadis are found in the American Southwest, and they range as far south as Central America. A Kawadi's tail is typically as long as its body, 
that helps them balance while climbing. You can see these coatis and numerous other animals at Wildlife Images. For over 35 years, Wildlife Images has rehabilitated animals that are injured or otherwise in need of help. They plan even more educational outreach.